Hello and welcome to the Late Model Stock Fixed series. We are here at Nashville Fairgrounds and getting started for qualifying. Kind of like uh, with all this banking here and how much grip this car has, it almost feels like uh, we're racing an intermediate <laughs> with, uh, with the car. So maybe I will be not quite as bad as I normally am in the short track series. But we will see. We're reaching the, reaching the chip pretty good, feels like, which is interesting. Ugh, and it really wants to like bounce up and out of the groove on the exits. Gotta be really careful about that. One more lap. Did a better job in three and four there. I think this second lap's gonna be better though, because I kind of messed up that first lap. Alright, that's a little bit better, right about where I was running. We're in the sevens, so I'll take that. That's about as good as I can hope for, I think. Later in the night here, uh, race on Monday. Got a decent uh, turnout. And uh, enough to have a split, so we're not single split here. But only 2.3k strength of field. And we are the number one car, as we unfortunately all too often are. But uh, I'm doing my best to make that not the case. <laughs> Been losing a lot recently, trying uh, a lot of cars that I have not really done too much of. Like the modifieds I'm learning, and racing stuff like this, that I'm actually not really all that good at. <laughs> But uh, not looking too bad here so far. We'll qualify P4 for now. There's a couple of guys I'm a little bit concerned about in this race. I'm not going to name anybody specific, but just some concerning things I saw in the practice and everything that makes me go, hmm, I don't know if I want to be near that guy. But I don't know, maybe I'm the guy that nobody wants to be near. We'll find out, I guess. Anyway, we will officially BP4. Um, that middle line might have something to it though. It's gonna be hard to say. I think this could get messy to be honest with you. I think guys trying to hold it to the bottom line are gonna struggle to do so hitting those bumps and uh, guys are probably not gonna want to lift all that much. So I can easily imagine guys bumping e, uh, yeah, each other out of the way. corners, drifting Detail. up and this could get ugly. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can stay in front of any wrecks or avoid anything that does happen around us. And not get wrecked ourselves. We'll see. Uh, 45 laps here at Nashville Fairgrounds. Shouldn't take all that long. Hopefully it'll be fun. Got some... Is that Cheetos to our inside? I'm seeing the little corner up here in the rear view mirror. That looks like the Cheetos font. It's all orange. We got Cheetos door inside potentially. We'll see how we can uh, how we can hang on in this middle lane, or if we're gonna want to go right down to the bottom. Be interesting to find out. The two is uh, I don't know what these guys are doing. But pace cars moving. This guy's not. Line up on the outside. But we got two laps to get it sorted out, so not a big deal. It is a Cheetos car. Is it bad that I know the font for Cheetos? Oh my god, he just ran into the P2 guy. Well, they're swerving. So it's it's kind of stuff. Okay, just gonna slam on our brakes in front of me. This is the kind of stuff that was had me worried a little bit. This guy's kind of messing around. Like, what are we doing? <sighs> this is gonna be ugly, I can already tell. Prove me wrong, please. Just the most inconsistent pace lap of all time. We're speeding up and slowing down. Get ready, going green. Go Can't see. Get 
The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. All right, well, we'll get a good jump. And there's already some sliding going on. I don't know if these guys are friends or if they hate each other because of the way they were messing around on the grid. I have no idea, but we're going to keep our eye out, that's for sure. You're now in third. Trying to get some rotation with the uh, brakes if I can. I have the feeling I'm going to kill my right front. I'll try to avoid doing that. Got a little bit of space behind us right now, but I have a feeling that guy's faster than me. So we'll have to watch out if he starts coming back to us. He just didn't have quite a, as good of a job. Ooh. So he's getting slideways, and I was getting slideways in response. They're all uh, spread out apart enough in front of us, though, that no more contact has been made, so I guess that's good. He really is getting sideways, though. He's getting sideways enough that it's actually kind of bringing up a puff of smoke. Not sure if that's going to be su sustainable or not. Or maybe that's what you want to do. want to get on the right rear as much as possible. And that's what he's doing. I don't know. No cautions, of course, here in this D-Class series, so... Probably going to end up having those tires hurt us in the long run, but we'll be fast for now, I guess. Wow, they're both getting sideways in front of us. A tight there, through three and four. That was a uh... Trying to let the banking carry us a little bit. Flying under the corner. It's not losing too much time doing it though. That was 19.9. Gaining on him just a little bit. Not to overdrive if I can avoid it, particularly through center. I think that's an important part to kind of ease up and keep it near the bottom. And we've kind of gotten to his back bumper, but what are we going to do now? That's a good question. Maybe we can try to get him on exit if we can continue inching forward. i be careful though, I'm entering harder than he is. Or at least lower. I don't want to get into the back of him. So I've got to be careful not to just drive my normal line when he's right in front of me. And end up wrecking the guy. It's not at all what I want. The lap time was 19.0. Nearly got to his inside there. I was pushing up too much though. Thought I was going to drift up into him so I aborted that. Hit the abort mission button. Got some space behind us so I can afford to try to set something up here. And we are going to be 15 laps in at the end of this lap. Seems like he's pushing a little bit. Maybe he's got the tire troubles. Race pace. That 
Keep it real low there. Not enough of a run to do anything though. A little bit of a wall hit. We're okay though. Still pulling away from the guy behind. Not sure if the two is just running to a pace. Going just fast enough. Or if maybe we're catching him. Feels like he's gotten closer, but that could just be me. The next car's the leader. Oh, we'll blink out. Not a good corner there. It came in at a weird angle. Suddenly the three's kind of pulling away from us. The lap time was at 19.0. Holding us steady at about 0.9 ahead. And uh, the guy in front of us. Maybe inching away just a little bit. He's at 0.4 right now. Still gaining on the guys behind. I think we could just be a third place car. That might be where we're at right now. Driving a little bit harder, use a little bit more brake. Okay. Doesn't seem to be being, uh, going much faster at all, though. Just trying some things, see if they work out. Not really seeing any handling issues from the guys ahead anymore. We're getting loose earlier. Not really seeing much of that anymore. I think that uh, the three might be on his way to the two, though. Who knows what happens if uh, they reach each other? Your last lap time was at 19.1. Kind of trying something a little bit new here, and it's kind of working. I'm driving in pretty hard, letting it roll, and then kind of using a little bit of brake mid-corner to get it kind of angled better for the exit, and that's actually working pretty well all of a sudden. That lap time was 19.0. Missed the mark a little bit there, though. They're getting close to that leader. We're okay. I'm losing time dealing with that. that did make me nervous hearing that call. Slow car down low. Uh -oh. Stop down low. Get another one. Go high. Just the guy coming out of the pits, we're fine. right in the mix here and we do anything with it I 
I can live with getting turned and people driving in too deep. All I ask is that if you're going to get me, then go get the guy that was two spots ahead of me that's blocking for daylight. He's clearly like two tenths off the rest of us. And make sure you all both pass him for me. Do that for me. We might be able to mount a charge yeah, on the leader bad, here. Man. It's never my intention of wreck anybody. I can live with it. I'm a little bit miffed. There aren't any cautions in this to say that, but yeah, go like if I'm out of the running, go past him because he needs to not be blocking people when he's clearly slower. Are we getting some bumper? Maybe he looks like he's close enough. I gotta avoid it if they're gonna be spinning each other. You should realize that I was nice for not spinning it into him a few hours before. It's gonna be he ten to go coming up. Very easily could have, and I chose not to. I wouldn't expect y'all to be as patient. Oh, he's almost got his nose on him. Got in latch him to go. You've just done a 19.1. I don't think the three leaves here without making a move on him. Whether that move is ill-advised or not. Was inside? No, not quite. He's going. He's going for it. He's not able to hold it down there, though. It's gonna be a real tough pass. He has it. Might have had his one shot there. Five. Five we weren't to quite go. there, but we'll the see if spot. I can have him give me the lane. Did not work. I'm the three to go. I feel like I'm faster than the three and maybe even the two, but I'm back here. That was that 19.1. Oh, there might have been some contact there. And do a cut down. Two left to go. Two to go. Oh, they're making contact. Coming to the white flag. Oh boy, here we go. He's blocking. Gonna send him. No, oh, not quite. All right, that actually ended up pretty clean. Whew! Colton, great drive. Pick a flag. Pick a flag. North run. Good race. Forward. Good win. Whew! Honestly, awesome job to those guys. They kept it clean, even though <laughs> that got really intense. Three car battle there. We ended up with 6270. So we're on the right front, but not all that bad. Especially if you consider the left rear being worse than the left front, I guess. That was pretty fun. So the two and three pulled up in front of there. I was kind of just waiting on the 
on a punt or something. I was kind of positioning myself to be able to overtake if those guys ran into each other doing a wide entry, but it never quite happened, so that was pretty fun. That got really intense. It's fun to be actually somewhat competitive for once in this car, too. <laughs> Oh, hey, that was the seven. Shout out to Chris in the seven. He finishes there in fourth behind us. Really cool. Always awesome to get messages like that. Kind of blows my mind. That people actually watch this and I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> Turn that down a little bit. Just some bumping and wall hitting off the start here. Terry Labonte's gonna get the wall. 12 breaks loose into the inside wall. Holy cow that was close. <laughs> was that the 10? Or the guy behind him? That very it was the guy behind him. Whoa! I think the 12 hit the hit the brakes at just the right time. I don't I don't know what happened there. Honestly, we we complain about netcode a, a lot of the time. I'm gonna say good job netcode, because you've got a car moving this direction here to the right and suddenly stopping. That's a, the exact kind of situation you would expect netcode to kick in and like slam under the four, even though they're pretty close. But hey, the netcode got it right. No one got hit there, and uh, that ends up being a close call, and nothing more. Nine hitting the wall on exit, very easy to do. Everyone getting a little bit of a piece of it. I think I hit the, I tapped the wall once or twice, just the little tiny ones. Got the four looking on the inside. He's not there. Comes in and hits the ten. He dives it in. And then the oh, the thirteen's gonna run him over. So I remember they were talking about that on the voice chat. Thirteen apologized. It was completely unintentional. It sounds like. Unfortunate there. Moving right along, we're seeing the 10 for some reason. Not doing much. Just a little bit of a blink. Culver's getting up into the wall. Culver's is good. That's a great place to eat. <laughs> if you ever visit the Midwest and you haven't been, I'd recommend it. Seen plenty of it right now. Ooh, and that's why. Five gets into the ten just a little bit. Oh, hey, uh, Chris, there was the, the Cheetos car <laughs> I was looking at early in the race. He gets a little bit of the wall there, just like I did at some point. I think I got it out of four at, one, uh, at some point. And then here, the end of the race, the two aggressive cutting down there, doing his best to defend, and the, to the three's credit, he was uh, racing hard, doing his best to get that done and try to get the win, but he didn't dump him. Who knows, maybe he tried, but <laughs> the two definitely goes way down and blocks him. Last lap, you can kind of understand that, I guess. They're racing really hard. You can see they're like trying to psych each other out, figure out where the other one's going to be. I kind of go high here on entry, thinking like, all right, if they connect... I need to be able to maneuver around, maybe cut under them if they start sliding up the track, but uh, they don't make contact. The three raced him clean, the two did everything he could to hold on to it, and uh, that was a pretty good short track battle, I think. Uh, that was fun. And I get a P3, which I'm very happy with, as the rest of the field comes across the line. And uh, we'll look at the race results page. I think I lose a little bit of I rating here. Uh, with my P3 finish, just because it's a bit of a, a lower strength of field. But for the, the most part, uh, I think I'm going to break even. Uh, 23 10 strength of field, yeah, negative 3 in the I rating, but a 0x.
they must have given each other four X's ahead. Um, but uh, I am thrilled with that finish as a uh, as a person who's usually not very fast in this car or in short tracks or on short tracks in general. So definitely will take it. Nice job to uh, Chris for getting the P4 right behind us. Hey, he gets a nice I rating haul. <laughs> so at least there's that. And uh, he'll get some safety rating too for the 0x. So great run for him and uh, a fun race. So thank you for watching. That will do it for this one. Uh, we will see you again in another one soon. Not sure where that'll be yet, but there's plenty more racing to do this week. Thanks for watching and have a good one.